Wow. Wow. Well, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Headingley. Well, the road to Wembley starts here, the first round of the Silk Cut Challenge Cup. Today's visitors are Barrow, and they hope they'll be hoping for better fortunes than the last time they visited Headingley, when they lost 90 points to nil. It's a great game in prospect, there's a nice crowd building up, so join us shortly for the kickoff. Well, I'll just run through the teams for you. A fullback for Leeds is former Scottish Rugby Union player Alan Tate. John Gallagher and Simon Irving, former Rugby Union players, also they're on the wings, and the senders are New Zealand pairing, Kevin Iro and Craig Innes. And Gary Schofield and Andy Gregory, the halfbacks. Steve Malloy, James Laws and Mike O'Neill, the front three for Leeds, and a mighty front three that's been playing the last few weeks. Graham Middleton continues in the second row after an impressive debut at Salford. This is his home debut at Edinley. Gary Mercer, the Kiwis at number 12. And superstar of rugby league, Larry Hanley at number 13. The substitutes for Leeds are Paul Dixon and Paul Anderson. Anderson, of course, only a young prop, just making his way in the game. Had some tremendous games this season, Dougie Lawton. No doubts about pitching him in to the first round of the Cup. Well, for Barrow, they line up with their leading dry scorer, which is Roy Robinson at full-back. Pat Trainer, Graham Fletcher, Chris Honey and Tony Solari at the three quarters. Long servant Steve Ray is at standoff with Mike Cavanagh at number seven. Bob Eccles, former Wellington, Great Britain forward, is at number eight. Stuart Rhodes, Neil Casson make up the front three. Chris Colos, Keith Pemberton, Graham Cameron, the back three and the substitutes, Steve Carey and Carl Wright. And the referee for this afternoon's encounter is Mr Steve Cross from Hull. Well, Leeds and Barrow just coming to the centre now, shaking hands there. That's the Leeds mascot today. He's Richard Pickersgill from St Matthew's Church of England School. His favourite Leeds player is Marvin Edwards, who's now gone back to New Zealand. And I can tell you the Barrow mascot there, wearing a the number six shirt, is very, very excited. He's been getting all of some Leeds autographs in the tunnel, and he's delighted to be here today. So a big game in prospect for Barra today, it'll be a dreaded anticipation that they've come here. The last time they came here, of course, Leeds defeated them 90 points to nil in league football. And a lot of people wondering if Leeds can do better today. Incidentally, the Leeds record score is 102 nil. And the uh, points in the game is held by, of course, who else but Lewis Jones. And he scored 31 against Bradford Northern. And Leeds going to be playing the other way in the first half. Also on the points record, uh, number of tries in the game is eight by Eddie Harris. So it's going to be better to kick off. And they're playing with whatever small amount of wind there is today. It's blowing from right to left. Pitching remarkably good condition considering the pounding it took in the Dewsbury and Battle game. So Barra will kick off Mr Steve Cross, the referee. It's the game underway. a good drive immediately there from Gary Mercer getting over that 20 metre line Gallagher in field looking for work and good tackle there from the second row pairing Colos and Pemberton Diggity finds Steve Malloy and Graham Middleton immediately in his stride there good ball from Steve Malloy Middleton in support just caught by the ankles and leads starting to come away Ball's a long ball out to Schofield, Schofield spots a gap and goes himself there. Hanley kicks on, Barrow will be in possession. 
Bob Eccles it was. And good there from Stuart Rhodes and well tackled by Gary Schofield. It's Tony Salada, the battle winger, coming in field. Taking play just into the leads half of the field. Spotting a gap there. Cameron the loose forward. Salari again. So Stuart Rhodes in it, okay. Puts up Eccles. Eccles puts up the tower in bomb and Alan Tate's running for that. Pressure on Alan Tate. Oh, safely taken there. Gallagher. And Gallagher wrestled unceremoniously to the ground. By Colos and Cameron. By Keneal. These games always difficult for the top side like Leeds. There's no plaudits for uh, winning by 100 points to nil, but only the disappointment if you only manage to scrape through 20 points to 10. Malai, bumping men off there. What a great season Steve Malai's having. So up to the last tackle leads, just uh, still in their own half of the field. Schofield will put the kick in. Oh, and a lovely touch, finding kick from Gary Schofield. Right down there, just inside that 20 metre zone. Oh, a few better supporters in the crowd, giving vocal support to their team. Not at the best of seasons, better languishing in the bottom of the third division. Lost 11 players at the beginning of the season. No contractual disputes. And, uh, playing largely instead of youngsters, and Bob Eccles just been brought from Blackpool to try and stiffen up the pack. So the first scrum of the afternoon goes to Barra. And a good break there from Pat Trainer, from Ilya Long. Serving player at Barra. That's a penalty immediately given away by Leeds. Considered to be a high tackle. So Bob Eccles will kick for touch. And poor touch finding effort there from Bob Eccles. I remember Leeds playing the cup match at Springfield Borough a few years back when uh, Bob Eccles in the Springfield Borough team. Had a tremendous game that day against Leeds. And Casson, Neil Casson just takes the ball up now. Eccles. Uh, knock on spotted there by the referee. On number 13, Green Cameron looks disappointed. It's Andy Gregory then to feed the scrum. Schofield finds Innes. Innes looks for the gap that side. Oh, that's good play. That's out to Simon Irving. Good tackling there by Barrow. Bringing Irving down just. Inside touch, Schofield brings in his son again, he's stopping, staring. Back to Iro, and Iro just shrugs off the winger there, that's good play. Pat Trainer. Oh, and Anlis showing that ball. Gregory, O'Neill. Oh, that's a bad decision there from Steve Cross, and now the referees need to get a video of this. It wasn't a knock on by Leeds. And the first Leeds attack comes to naught. The three's all getting videos of this, so we'll see from up here that, that came off a Barrow player. So look off, look at let off there for Barrow. Chris Honey, just taking that, he's on his 10 metre line and leads all back on side. And Middleton and Hanley bringing him down, just again, just inside that 20 metre zone. Was Graham Fletcher. <laughs> well, Leeds quoted second to favourites for the Challenge Cup behind Wigan, of course, 11 to 2 in this morning's press. It'll be interesting to see how the scoreline score today affects their odds. Right, all tackling there. 
And that's back for Eccles for the kick. And safely in the arms of Alan Tate, and Tate will look for support. Goes himself. Just ankle tap there by Robinson, the fullback. Barrow back in possession leads. Just uh, surrendering in possession in the early stages of this game. And as Dougie Lawton has said in the uh, press this week, you've got to respect the cup, otherwise you could easily pay the penalty. I'm sure Leeds won't be taking this game easily. And Gallagher bumping. Tun Solari into touch. Andy Gregory. Already covered with mud. And penalty to Leeds. Not retiring. Schofield kicks up towards a uh, commentary position. Gallagher. Head down and goes there. John Gallagher makes small amount of progress. Shot. Ball and reverse pass there for Steve Malloy. James Laws in support as ever. That's good play from Leeds. Gregory running across, finds Innes. Irving, Irving coming back inside, dodging and waving. The Barrow enthusiastic cover coming across there, but I certainly scramble defence is good in the opening stages of this game. Steve Malloy running around with Gregory, that's a long ball out there. And that's intercepted and that's going to be a tie to Barrow, well that's unbelievable. And Barrow are going to open the scoring with a try there to Chris Honey, he'll be absolutely delighted with that. So eight minutes gone then and a shock on the cards, could it be at Eddingley? The first try to Honey. They'll take the kick and a good round of applause for Barrow as they come back. And safely on, so it's... Six points in the limb, Barrow in the lead. First round of the challenge cup here at Eddingley. Gary Schofield prepares to kick off. It's a high spinning ball, and that's. Good tackling from Leeds. Keep Badder pen down here now. And that's Chris Colos. Alan Tate is shouting instructions to his players. And Eccles puts that ball down. And the scrum will if a leads, it'll be 35 metres from the line. 30 metres. And the Gregory just waiting to feed the scrum. Switching play with Ida out to Innes. Irving again, and Irving will take training on on the outside. Leads up to that 20 metre line now in possession with Simon Irving. Innes again, shrugging men off. Good running there from Innes. That takes play in that 20 metre zone. 
Well, it's Anthony Appa, finds Gregory. Scofield, Scofield wrapped up there and still can't get the ball away. Good tackling there on Scofield. Mercer will go himself from Anthony now. Gallagher wrapped up there as he got that ball. And Middleton unable to take that ball, so we're up to the last tackle. Leeds have actually lost ground in this set of six from the scrum. Gregory with the kick. That's for Gallagher to chase. A good tackle there from John Gallagher. And Gary Schofield at the moment down injured. And that's bad news as far as Leeds are concerned. Leeds lost Schofield in one of the early rounds of the Challenge Cup last year and the season fell apart disastrously. And Schofield will run off the injury. Or Beckles. Well wrapped up there by Mercer. Better pin down on this 10 metre zone. And number seven, Kavana kicks. And that's in touch. That's a fine kick there from Kavana. The Leeds will go to scrum. Just 12 metres or so inside their own half of the field. 12 minutes gone. Leeds nil, Barrow six. Andy Gregory feeding the scrum. Then up to the satisfaction of Steve Cross. That's back out. Schofield switching for that. Iro taking men on there. That was hanging pass was for Innes. Mercer. Gallagher. Picked up there by Solari and dumped to the floor. Finds Graham Middleton with that ball, Gary Schofield. Middleton just taking play up. Play still 10 metres inside the Leeds half of the field. Gregory chipping over there. And playing to the referee that he'd been uh, halted in his progress. Great tackle from Simon Irving there on uh, Graham Cameron. Ash looks suspiciously forward there to number 10, Casson. Up to the last tackle now. Uh, we'll look for Bob Eccles, he'll be getting this ball and putting his trusty boot. And that's a drop goal attempt, which is wide. So Leeds then will tap. And Steve Malloy will run. Mike O'Neill, oh, that's good running from O'Neill. Middleton. Well, good running there from Graham Middleton, taking some pulling down, three better players on him, nine. 7 and 12. Mercer's ball. Finds Simon Irving. Irving. Showing the ball, going himself. On the offside there at the play of the ball, so that's another penalty to Leeds. A little bit over enthusiastic from the battle. Well, Schofield finds touch. 30 metres again from that line, Andy Gregory finds Simon Irving, Irving coming in off the wing, looking for the work. The steam men off, oh that's good running from Irving, that's into the 20 metre area and the crowd now behind Leeds. And everybody will want the ball this afternoon, Steve Malloy. Still pushing men off Malloy. It's good play, Leeds right in front of the post. Gregory finds Schofield, should be something here for Leeds. Hanley 
And Ali's unceremoniously dumped there. Cumberland tackling the batter player involved has hurt himself. Gregory looks for the runner now. It's a short ball for Gary Mercer. Neil Barrow back in position of the lead attack comes to naught. The referee stops the clock. The two para players down injured. So any thoughts at Leeds of getting 100 points this afternoon if they ever had any? But well and truly out the window. 15 minutes, 16 minutes gone and Leeds still. Six points to nil. To the worst. Two better players down injured. Stuart Walker, the Leeds physio. Attending to one of the uh, better physio on the other side. Attending to number three, Graham Fletcher. Never played that ball properly there, number 11, Chris Close. Well, the enthusiasm of Barrow keeping them noses in the lead at this early stage of the game. We're up to the last tackle, and that's back for Bob Eccles to kick, and Eccles close down there, chose the other option. Now and Tate. Picking up that ball. Gallagher. And again, that's good tackling from Barrow. And he scores himself. Bursting throw there. And really well, Gary Schofield is grabbing him in the press this week. He's the best centre in the world at the moment. Certainly up there in the top five or six. Gregory. Goes himself and he's brought down by Noel Stewart Rhodes. Schofield finds Innis again. Innis balls back for Alan Tate. Tate will dodge and weave. Hanley now with a clear run to the post. Graham Middleton. The lead's queuing up here. Schofield goes himself and gets it all over the line. So that's the first try, Schofield. Going over. For Leeds. Just watch that again on the replay there as Leeds move that ball out to the right. Schofield with Mintus Bay. Show the ball. Through the gap and had too much strength for the batter defenders. Powered his way over the line. Well, Leeds about to make a substitution. I think Mike O'Neill will go off and Paul Anderson will come on. So Gallagher then with this kick. Curls it round. The Leeds go. On level terms. A one try, one goal each. And Leeds, six, Barrow six. 20 minutes now gone in his first half. And always a keen anticipation when the Silk Cup Challenge Cup comes round. And these difficult hurdles, these first round encounters, as they in slower opposition, there's some tough ones today, Jewsbury and Wigan. Not the sort of games that uh, top division sides want to play. Leeds made that substitution. And of course, Leeds and Bad are no favourites, no strangers, should I say, to cup action. They've played each other on numerous occasions, and most notably in that 1957 final, when Leeds managed to hang on by nine points to seven. And before that, there was the, uh, for Leeds anyway, disaster of the drone semi final at Oxley in 1951, when Leeds seemingly home and dry. And Leeds losing the replay at Far Town. On the Wednesday, now oh, we've got some uh, bother coming in here. Well, Paul Anderson immediately in the thick of things there as soon as he's come on the field. Now 
That's a penalty to Leeds. And one hopes that this game doesn't generate or degenerate into a brawl. Always the temptation of the clubs coming, find the cart win with the football, and then uh, start to use the uh, fist. No. Steve Malloy, that's a great run from Malloy there. Leeds using the short side, Anderson will come on the burst. Oh, great ball there out to Gary Mercer. Oh, lovely tackle there from the fullback. What great football there from Mercer and from Robinson and from Anderson. Hanley. Allen takes in the line. Leeds now starting to cut loose. Craig Innes, has he got the legs? Certainly Alan Tate has, and over in the corner, the lead second try in as many minutes there, two minutes. To try to Alan Tate, tremendous play there. That was always likely to be on the cards, ever since Anderson made that burst, the first initial burst by Steve Malloy, just watch that again. The ball moved out quickly to the left. Alan Tate put Innes away, and Innes back inside for Alan Tate, reached back, took the ball. Managed to get over five metres in from touch. Great try to lead. Tremendous open football. It's going to be number seven, Mike Cavana, with a the kick. There's a short one there, and Paul Anderson it is who immediately on it for Leeds. And taking three men to bring him down. Well, he was half down when the tacklers arrived. It's good play from Anderson. Mercer now. Strong running as Leeds try and bust bad up the middle of the field. Steve Malloy again, taking men on and taking play forward. Gregory, short ball is for Anderson. Gregory again, looks to run himself. It's a long ball out to Schofield. Schofield finds Ido in space. That's good play from Schofield. And Ido will take more battles on, shrugs him off there. Still going Ido. James Lowe's. Well, Leeds on the last tackle now on that 20 metre line. And Schofield will take charge of this attack, finds Gregory. Malloy looks for the runner now, and Anderson Mercer now will straighten up. Schofield. And the second pass of the afternoon will be intercepted there by Barrow, so Barrow back in possession. And that's a try scorer. Number four, Chris Honey, who's in possession, but well wrapped up by John Gallagher. Former New Zealand All Black, playing his second consecutive game on the wing in the absence of uh, Jim Fallon. And we've got a stoppage in play now, an injury to uh, number seven, Mike Cavana. So, thankfully, he's okay. And, uh, a great tackle there on New Casson from Anderson. And Stuart Rhodes. A kick coming in now and kicking for space. And Simon Irving's well back for that, and that's good to see Leeds there. Alert to what's happening. Alan Tate, Simon Irving, and John Gallagher all back to looks for the gap. So Irving will uh, take it on, finds James Lowe's in support. And Barrow will certainly know they've been in the game if they tackle James Lowe's a few times. Tremendously strong athlete. Oh, great ball from Schofield there, and again, that's good play from Steve Malloy, Graham Middleton, Innes. And just overrunning that ball there. Kevin Ido and Innes in the mix-up on that far touchline side as Leeds. Trying to entertain. Irving and Hanley quickly in at the tackle on the acting halfback. And Anderson again in there on Neil Casson. No love lost between those two. And Rhodes and Hanley bringing Stuart Rhodes down. for the run round there. It's 
picked up by the batter substitute number 14 with Steve Kerry the score is long ball finds Gregory and Gregory spots that as many to spare there Alan Tate Stanley. Steve Malloy the lead's just 10-16 as we approach the half hour mark. And Mercer still going there. Regularly missing men out. That's long ball misses out Middleton and Anderson and Innis. Irving puts the ball down and again batter in possession for Leeds. Losing that ball on numerous occasions, trying to entertain the crowd. Kalos just uh, brought down there. Warren Anderson arriving down number 12, Keith Pemberton. Good tackle there from Anderson. Kalos again. James Law's got a bang there. Someone fell on him. The kick's in and it's for Alan Tate. And Law's looks in agony as he lays just below our commentary position. Innis showing the ball, looking to go through the gap. A heavy tackle coming in from Innis, three man tackle. Middleton now will take this ball up, and Graham Middleton will take the ball up all day. Knees in the back, I think, for James Laws. Piggity runs, goes himself. Finally gets away to Iano. Iano shoves men off. Gallagher will run now as he got the legs. He puts the kick in. That's a drop out under the poor Sally there. Not quite having the legs, the kick just burning him. In fact, that's a strange decision, that saying that Hanley knocked that ball dead. And better play plainly. Kicking that ball did. Stuart Rhodes just settling play down in the middle of the field. Pemberton, three man tackle from Leeds. Bob Eccles wants to put the kick in. And that fine touch, that's a good touch finder from Bob Eccles. 10 metres inside the leads half of the field. Oh. 10 minutes or so this first half to go. And Leeds still leading by 10 points to 6. And Barrow certainly raised their game from when I saw them against Dewsbury a few weeks ago when they were well and truly beaten. 34 points to 4, I think it was. And Barrow back in possession and again leads. Pain, costly mistakes here. And number one, Roy Robinson just trying to run on the outside of John Gallagher who brings him down. Solari and again Gallagher in with the tackling. Oh, and a good run there from Neil Casson. Play 12 metres from the Leeds line. On a blatant forward pass there. Stuart Rhodes is brought down. Ten metres from the line. Nipping from acting half. That was, that was Rhodes. It was Colossal who was brought down. And Simon Irving back in position for Leeds. And well taken there by Simon Irving. Difficult kick to take on the full. Well, and Tate drives away from his own line. Anderson. Yeah. 
shot. Well, it's for Steve Malloy, and that's a good tackle on Steve Malloy. Better certainly playing well this afternoon, certainly raising their game. Gregory runs himself. Hellerine supporters ever shows the ball. James Laws comes up the touchline side in support. Up to the last tackle and leads. And Hanley up, acting half. Schofield. Schofield putting the kick in. And Ido and Gallagher bringing Robinson down in possession. So Barrow in possession in that own 20 metre area. That's got to be a penalty there for Barrow. It's a stupid uh, to make. Certainly had a marker there. Just have thought that John Gallagher was stood too far away. So Leeds fourth penalty of the afternoon. Leeds second has come 3 2 and the penalty's 4 1. And Gallagher just put his head down there and charged willy nilly. James Laws. And the Leeds attack. Uh, just under the post now. So Leeds very much at sixes and sevens on attack this afternoon. Nobody really sure what anybody else is doing, and this is uh, always a chance that this could happen on a day like this. Obado. Well tackled there from. Schofield and Hanley. Almost sending in position there, Barrow. Middleton and Minis making the tackle. Eccles. Good tackling from Leeds, and it's only four tackles, says Mr. Cross. We're up to the last tackle now. Well, Beckles is back for the kick. Decides to run with the ball, then puts the kick in. That's for John Gallagher. And Gallagher brought down by the batter substitute, Steve Carey. Gregory, I'm going to go himself, Andy Gregory, just tripping up there with a gap. I'd open up for him beautifully there. Schofield finds Mercer. I know. I know, puts Gallagher away now. Gallagher inside to Adley. Adley falling as he caught that ball. Alan Tate will switch play back. For Leeds, 10 metres on the battle line with Hanley acting out back. Fine score for him. Gregory, give her the run around there. And well tackle there, and Schofield still got something plays on. That's for Innis. Is Innis in there? No, he's in touch, says a, a touch judge. For Leeds, just can't seem to get over that battle line this afternoon. A lot of pressure in that 20 meter area and just falling at the final hurdle. And that all mopping up the possession at the moment. Talos and Mercer brings him down. Good tackling from Graham Middleton there. That's uh, bringing down Pemberton. And Rhodes Oka there again. Middleton and Lowe's into the tackle. Bob Eccles. Good play from Barra, but a great tackle from Simon Irving there on number six, Steve Ray. A little bit of six tackle, so that's a turnover.
Malloy. And some no-nonsense running from Steve Malloy. Straight hard and straight up the middle of the field. Anderson pushing men off and Leeds taking play back into that 20 metre zone. Schofield running around with Gregory. Brings Alan Tate on. Leeds seem to find red shirts every time they mount a serious attack. Middleton couldn't get the ball away. Mercer's in support. And Fareed is making sure about our onside. Shot ball is for Hanley. For Iro. Oh, Gallagher again puts the ball down. So Leeds again. Missing out on a try, which seemed to go big in again there. That'll be a scrum from Bob Eccles. Mike Cavanna leading the scrum. And Solari coming in field, but only into the waiting arms of Hilary Hanley. Hi, Robinson. Baro using the forwards to bring that ball away from their own post. And Honey, the try scorer, wrapped up there by James Laws and Caminero. And John Gallagher. It's space to run in Gallagher. And taking play into that better half of the field. That's good running from Gallagher. Gregory. Middleton. And again. That's Anderson now. Great running from Paul Anderson. That's good running there from a prop forward. Schofield finds Malloy and Malloy's hands Alan Tate. Tate just couldn't get the ball away again. Hanley in support. Schofield Gregory dodging weaving Andy Gregory. He's going to score a try. Well, would you believe it? Andy Gregory first try for Leeds. To the little fella there, he'll be absolutely delighted with that. <laughs> 40 minutes up on my clock. And Gregory, over for Leeds. And Leeds 14 points to six, and with the kick still to come from in front of the post, it should be a successful one. That's successful, so our referee says that's successful, 16 points to 16, Leeds in the lead, three tries, two goals, there goes a halter at the end of the first half and Leeds fans not really happy with the Leeds performance and Dougie Lockman will no doubt have something to say at half time. Leeds trying to over entertain I think this afternoon, it was Barrow who took a shot lead on eight minutes with a try from Honey, intercepted Schofield's pass, Kavanagh converted and it was 6-0. It took Leeds ten minutes to get back on the score sheet and Schofield scored a try. Gallagher converted, it was 6 all, and Alan Tate had a try after good work from Innes, it was 10 points to 6, and then right on half time there, Gregory had a try, converted by Gallagher, 16 points to 6. So join us for the second half, let's see if Leeds can pull away to something like the scoreline that was suggested before the game, or whether Barrow will continue to fight and keep Leeds pen close. So Alan Tate about to get the second half underway. Leeds leading by 16 points to six. No one had a good 
tackle there on Roy Robinson from Prodixon, who was on the field. I think that'll be for Graham Middleton. And that's Chris Colossus. And uh, wrestled down by Eleni Hanley, and it looks like a serious injury. Andy Gregory immediately uh, calling for the battle trainer. That play goes on. Close happily back to his feet then. And they're trying to charge down the kick takes underneath it, catches it safely. Gallagher. And straight in there to Bob Eccles. Anderson. Gregory finds a long ball there for Iroh and Leeds running this on the last tackle and Iroh just opens himself out now. Cuts inside, that's going to be a try to Kevin Iroh under the post. Oh, well, immediately Leeds. Starting off in only the second minute. Lovely try there to him. To Iroh. Leeds, of course, running that ball on the sixth tackle there instead of the anticipated kick that Barrower hanging back for. And when Ida got that ball, it was a try all the way. So Gallagher with the, another simple conversion, which should make it 22 points to six. The four tries, three goals in Leeds now. 22 points to six in the lead and probably safely in the uh, second round draw for tomorrow for the Silk Cup Challenge Cup. Matter looking in no uh, hurry to kick off in the second half. Finds Paul Dixon there. And Dixon won't like sitting on the subs bench, so he'll have a point to prove. In the competition for places, he won't be going He's trying to build up at Leeds, and that's uh, will probably have the desired effect. Oh, and Iro there, juggling with that ball, so better back in possession. But not for long as ball's put down. Steve Malloy will run on. Anderson now. Oh, and a great tackle there from Stuart Rhodes there, bringing Anderson down, not the easiest thing to do. Malloy. Oh, that's a great ball for Mercer. Mercer finds Innes, and that's going to be a try, I think, to Innes. In fact, it's going to be a try to James Lowe's. He's second for the club. Well, two minutes later then, and another try to Leeds, try to Lowe's, underneath the post, great work there from Innes, great work from Steve Malloy. Just Innes should have the legs to go, but through the cover and James Lowe's is ever in support, over for the try under the post. Gallagher converts, he certainly doesn't waste any time, it's 28 points to six. And the uh, misadventures of the first half all seemingly forgotten as Leeds have come out powering away there. Great play from Leeds in the opening minutes of this second half. <laughs> about our kicking off again. And finding touch immediately. A good kick off there from number seven, Mike Cavana. So I'll scrum up my head and ball the leads. And the Gregory just uh, collecting a football. It's 
Ball for the Bruins, Gallagher on the burst. Gallagher makes good ground up the middle of the field there. That's good play from Gallagher. Gregory, Malloy. Malloy relishing this uh, battle this afternoon. Anderson again, Laws is in support. Gregory, a long ball's for Schofield, and Schofield does it to turn, goes himself, looks to Shumpman off, but Schofield's been well policed this afternoon, good play, good defending job on Gary Schofield from Barrow. They rightly identified him as a danger man. Hanley, bottoms him up there, that's Dixon. Oh, and the referee's not going to allow Eleni Hanley to score, he's going to pull back for a forward pass. Short ball from Dixon to Hanley. So about our left chance to get some possession. Leading the scrums, five points to four. Five four, should I say, in the penalty's going leads away, 4-1. So Cavana then feeds a scrum and Andy Gregory chases him round, but he's quick enough. They come off Andy Gregory and Hanley makes the tackle. Just a good tackle from Anderson there. From number 10, who's the uh, rule the day that he threw that punch at Anderson in his first tackle of the game. Anderson's that was. Barrow have a big prop just coming on in Carl Wright. And slidden into touch there from Kevin Iroh. Great tackle from Milo. Just weighed up the situation. Barrow man annoyed with himself. Had uh, plenty of men out there just uh, trying to do too much in that situation. And uh, Kevin Iroh goes across to make the tackle. So Leeds will feed again with Andy Gregory. Scorefield Tate. Innes is in the middle of the field, Schofield's away. He could have scored himself, Gary Schofield there, uh, did the right thing and uh, passed to Kevin Iredo, but Schofield have beaten the tackle. And two minutes again leads, 46 minutes. Good play from Schofield. Six leads try in the afternoon. A different lead side to the first half. Steve Malloy puts the ball down, but backwards. And Dixon take him in on the short side. Gives Leeds more width to attack. And Gary Mercer. Finds Laws again in support. The Gregory now looks to pass fine Schofield. Schofield will bring Anderson on the burst. Schofield again, Malloy. And Dixon there in support. That's good play from Leeds. Switching play now with Schofield. Short ball is for Alan Tate. Hanley. And that's wrestled to the floor there, Eleni Hanley, by Pembert, number 10. Finish now, it's pace to run. It's got Irving inside, that's good play from Simon Irving. Irving looking to offload. And that's the sixth tackle, that'll be the turnover. Leeds trying to keep that ball alive on the sixth tackle there. And four Leeds players bringing the... Carl right down. Casson. Met by Anderson and uh, Steve Malloy. A lot of props doing this year of tackling. Eccles not expecting that ball. He makes good ground there before he's uh, 
brought down by Paul Dixon. Having a run around with Steve Ray, looks for it, dummies. And James Law's bringing Carl right down. Kavanagh. Alan Tate just safely catching the ball. It's good play there from the battle winger. Solari kicked over and chased, spotted that Alan Tate was, had to run and catch the ball. Gallagher showing the ball, goes himself. Oh, Lowe's now. We'll find Gregory. Gregory short ball is for Gary Mercer. Finis. Oh, and a good tackle there from right. Malloy. Anderson. Simon Irving now comes back inside, cuts through the gap. And the Gregory knocking on. Ball just slipping from his hands. So again, we'll go to a scrum again. Little bit with me snakes this afternoon, but the wet conditions of the field are helping things. So Barra will feed with Cavana. Robinson falls down there to Kevin Iroh's cover tackling. Great cover defence from Kevin Iroh this afternoon. Again, Iroh involved there with Alan Tate. Round the rook. Carl Wright runs into James Lowe's. And Ellery Hanley. Makes absolutely no progress whatsoever. The batter now with Bob Eccles. Looking to offload, but those days seem to have gone for Bob Eccles. He hasn't got one ball out of the tackle this afternoon. He used to be such a facet of his game. Bob Eccles almost broke the try scoring record for a forward. I think he finished on 38. Bob Egg, of course, of Leeds holding that record. Now he came here on the last match of the season, won in a few tries for that and didn't manage one. Much to the delight of the Headingly faithful. Hanley finds Gregory. Short balls for Alan Tate. Opening his legs, Alan Tate. Great run from Alan Tate there. Simon Irving back to ones. Barrow player got a hand in that. Bob Eccles interfering with Simon Irving. What a huge gap there. The forward passing, thankfully given. <laughs> Andy Gregory disappointed with that decision. <laughs> so Barrow again in position from the scrum and leads have just. Uh, Again, I know, wrapping men up on that touchline side. Jinking and weaving so loud, everybody. Can't get the ball away. Again, Barrow bring that ball away, line deep, Bob Eccles. Going a great tackle from Simon Irving and almost an interception there. Was that pass floated out? Nichols puts the kick in. Finds touch. Fourteen minutes gone then of this second half. Leads 32 points to six to the good. Gregory brings Simon Irving. And Phil, oh, and a good tackle there from number four. Graham Honey. Chris Honey. Schofield. Tate. Iro. Gallagher. Good play from the Leeds backs there, just spreading that ball. Gregory. Looks for Anderson. Mercer. Oh, and Dixon's in space now. Innis carrying the ball on there. A high tackle on Craig Innes. 
Bolter escaped unscathed from that one. Anderson takes play, leads 30 metres from the line now and attacking with Ellery Hanley. Hanley puts Gregory through a gap. Gregory will go and he's going to score a try. Well, that's his second try of the game and the second try for Leeds and a bad player kicking that ball into the crowd there and it's in a Leeds supporter in the face. Would have done good for the public relations. Well, try to Andy Gregory, great run from acting half by Ellery Hanley. Fifty-five minutes gone then leads. Thirty-six points to six in the lead. And that's thirty-eight now. Seven tries, five goals. But I have another substitution. Player returning for Barrow. It's uh, Chris Colos. I think it's the uh, heavyweight prop, Carl Wright, that he's replaced. And well picked up there by Dixon. Steve Malai. Oh, that's great running from Steve Malai. Tremendous football there. And a good tackle there coming in from number seven, Cavana. Schofield will use his short side. Long ball's out for Irving. Great pass there from Schofield. Irving still going. Laws finds Gregory, shouting for that ball, Andy Gregory. Knocked down again, looking for the interception, honey. Gregory will feed the scrum. The three not happy with the scrum, so. Gregory feeds and loads forward, miles offside there. It's kicked down, it's for Alan Tate. Oh, and Alan Tate overrunning the ball and battling position. The idea was right from Schofield, it was caught a better player's hand. Robinson. A good tackle from Gary Mercer. Eccles. Oh, clever play there. And the road, hooker Rhodes, and he's got Alan Tate to beat. And that's good play from Barrow. They can play right up to that 20 metre area, and I'm pushing strongly now. And Gallagher's across there. They've had a tackle by Gregory, still gets the ball all the way to Rhodes, and leads a shot of many. Here. Up to the last tackle now. Eccles. It's a chip in. And Alan Tate just knocks it dead. So that'll be a drop out under the post. Well, Leeds under some pressure there from Barrow, but keeping the line intact. Schofield sends a drop kick spinning down the middle of the field and it's sticking the mud. But well, it's picked up by Honey. Still running with the ball, Chris Honey. Coming up to the uh, three quarter time in this match with Leeds 38 points to six to the good. Anderson immediately in there on Neil Casson. Eccles. Looks for the runner now and goes himself. Oh, and Barrow are going to score again. Well, that's a turn up for the Bucks. Cliff Eccles, uh, Bob Eccles with the run around there. Dummied. 
And finally, Barrow going over at the side of the post with Cavana. Well, Cavana then with the attempted conversion. This will put Barrow in double figures. In fact, they already are 38 10. This will put them 38 points to 12. Cavana certainly takes his time with the kicks. And straight through the middle, so 38 points to 12. Two tries, two goals. And Lynch will be kicking off. So Schofield. 20 minutes to go. Number 14, Stuart Carey. Just uh, slip in there. Carlos comes into Hanley. Schofield and Hanley doing the tackling in the middle of the field. Steve Ray. Trying to set Roy Robinson on a gallop there, but leads. Anderson not falling for any cheekery pokery from Cavana. Beckles sidestep well there and put the kick in. Simon Evans will watch that bounce in the touch. Leaves will have head and ball at the scrum, 38 points to 12. 62 minutes gone. Andy Gregory and Bobeckel's teammates at Warrington just having a word there. Gregory finds Schofield. Schofield has slipped that ball to Kevin Ido. Awesome side of Kevin Ido, powering down the middle of the field. Alan Tate's in support. And Tate, will he have the legs? Oh, great tackle there. Hanley. Puts that ball out of the back door there for Kevin Ido. And Ido just storms himself up there. Page Craig Innes. And then he's over for the tie, Ido could have scored himself in. <laughs> 63 minutes gone then, Leeds. Further in the lead there with that try to Craig Innes. Nelliga safely through the middle. 44 points to 12. Oh, so far, Larry Hanley hasn't got on the score, but he's the largest, longest sequence of uh, try scoring in the Football League, the Rugby Football League, at the moment. And I'm sure he'd like to get on the try sheet today. Not one or two people tipping Larry for five or six this afternoon. But so far, uh, Hanley's provided the tries for a couple of players, and Malloy finds Dixon. Dixon still struggling. Dixon's boat come off there and been thrown. Oh, and Steve Malloy bursting through. Mercer and Hanley will score this time. There's no doubt about that whatsoever. Hanley. Hanley's going to get on that try sheet. He's running away and he's running towards the corner, but he's over for that try. And you can hear what the Leeds fans think of that one. Great play there from Steve Malloy. Gary Mercer and Hillary Hanley over for the try. The Leeds starting to open out again now. And there's no popular try scorer this afternoon than Hilary Hanley. He's in tremendous form this season. And I think there were some people who doubted that Hilary Hanley would come back after his broken jaw. And there were some people, notably at Wigan, 
We thought it was a good decision to sell him. And Leeds has seemingly scored and it will now as the game goes on. Just a hiccup there when uh, Cavana scored for Barra. And certainly Barra in no hurry whatsoever to kick off. They'll be hoping to keep Leeds down to below 50, but that seems a... Not much chance of that, 15 minutes left for play and Leeds 48 points to 12 to the good as it is. And Steve Malloy just accepts the kick off again. Dixon finds Gregory Mercer's on the burst. Alan Tate there, oh, great pass and a great run from Tate. Forward pass there to Hanley. From Alan Tate. The referee well placed there and Alan Tate doesn't look too disappointed. So bad at a rare chance in his second half of some possession. It's their tenth scrum. Oh, that's it. Solari on the burst. Kagan is hanging on for grim death there over on that far touchline side. But a most of our attacks have gone over to Solari's wing. Steve Carey up to the ground by Hanley. Cavana finds Rhodes Oker. Mason and Dixon bringing him down. Bob Eccles. Tries to go himself and is pushed towards the touchline by Simon Irving and Steve Malloy. Colos going himself We're up to the last tackle now, so Leeds will be alert to the kick. Barrow deciding to run that ball. Safely taken by Paul Dixon. And he's got on the runner down with Andy Gregory, but Gregory already decided that that ball was for Steve Malloy. Long ball out there. I know. Certainly ready to bump off men. Finds Gallagher with space down the touchline side. A knock on from Steve Malloy is the uh, outcome of that. So again, Barrow, I've had him ball at the scrum. Certainly made good use of the possession, Barrow. Kept the ball mainly for the six tackles. Interesting to see the uh, rate from Barrow. So the 11th scrum of the game. Schofield and Hanley doing the tackling job on Cavana as he brought the ball away from the scrum. Robinson coming into the line. Good full-back play this afternoon from Robinson. Certainly on attack. Been exposed a lot by the lack of cover in defence and Leeds have scored some long-range tries. Cavana. Andy Gregory. And some forward passes going there. And Gallagher picks up for Leeds. So just as I said, at Barrett have kept the ball for six, they don't manage to keep it for more than two. Shot ball is for Anderson, who winds himself up into a burst. Ten minutes left for play then. Steve Malloy will go himself, and he's brought down by Graham Cameron. Hanley. Schofield, Tinkin weaving, showing the ball, going himself. Last tackle and crowd in the south stand and wanting Leeds to throw that ball about. It's a high spinning ball, that's a difficult one. Well, well taken there by the Barrow fullback. Robinson jumped up well there to take that ball. Number 12, that's Keith Pemberton. 
and Cavana. Most of the Barramo springing from Cavana. Had a tremendous game this afternoon. It'll certainly be better as well, another match. And good work too from Rhodes, the hooker, and from Carlos. Graham Cameron, play just inside the other half of the field. Oh, that's got to be a forward pass there. That was a mile forward. Referee Steve Cross signalling the uh, six tacklers. Bob Eccles puts the kick in. We've got to find Simon Irving. And Irving Tate slipping. So I think Innis was closer to him than he was there, and Simon Irving sets off down the middle of the field. Puts men off. Higgity. Mercer, that's good play from Mercer. Pushes men off with his arm there. Inside is for Gallagher, Iro. And Iro sets off on one of those bursts down the middle of the field. The three says he wasn't held, Hanley. He's certainly held this time. Gregory. No, oh, Andy Gregory. And Hanley's in for his second tie. Gregory looking for the hat trick there. 50 points come up for the Liners. 10 tries. Two twelve leads to the good. Converts seventh kick of the afternoon. Alan Tate wins the Leeds Man of the Match award. Leads fifty four batter twelve then. So Barrow will kick off. Cavana and again he kicks and this time he finds Paul Anderson who bumps men off. And... A long way to go Anderson but he's certainly got the legs. That's a good tackle though, bringing him down by the fullback Robinson. Leeds will quickly speed up the attack. Seven and a half thousand hardy souls out here this afternoon. And again, the interception. And Craig Innes this time is chasing in John Gallagher and I don't think Honey's going to do it this time. Great tackle there from John Gallagher. Barrow with men to spare here. And a try there to number two. Pat Trainer. Well, 75 minutes then now on Barrow. Pulling points back. Great run from Honey, but they couldn't have the legs to go this time. Great tackle from John Gallagher. And Leeds covering the options on the far side. And Trainer spotted that and moved across there where there was no one in support. And Leeds just trooping back dejectedly. Just back Trainer, the try scorer, he'll be happy. I've scored a try here at Eddie Well, certainly uh, had to put up a better performance than the last time they were here. Trainer then with the kick. Converts, Kavana. Three tries, three goals, and the scrums. But I've taken them well 11 6 and the penalties have gone forward to Leeds. Remarkably clean game, not a second half penalty. Coming in the closing few minutes of this game, Leeds get back, of course, to league action next week at Hulkingston Rovers. It's 
Schofield kicks. Robinson will try and run out. That's good play. And number 14, Steve Kelly. That was running into Steve Malloy. Carlos. And then wraps him up and brings him down. Man and ball. Through the windscreen there, no seatbelt on. So Gregory now leads it on, last chance I think, to put some more points on the board. Just two minutes left with my watch. Finish. Finds Ido, Schofield leads playing some sparkling football now. Schofield hanging onto that ball. And there goes the halter, so that's the end of the game, then 52 points to 18. Leeds and Maradi. Pride privilege of scoring first and last in this game. Open the scoring on six minutes, on eight minutes with a try to Honey, an interception and then following an interception by Honey. Trainer scored on 75 minutes. So handshakes all round and a big day for Barrow and they haven't let anybody down. They've played well this afternoon, they've kept Leeds to 52 points. And uh, most people certainly expected Leeds to be getting in the 80s or the 90s, but these games are never easy. And I'm sure Leeds will just be happy to be in tomorrow morning's draw for the Cup and just coming over and saluting the South Stand. And could this be the start of big things for Leeds in 1993? Could they finally win the Challenge Cup for the first time since 1978? Well, who can say so? Leeds then with tries to Schofield, Tate and Gregory in the first half. Two goals to Gallagher, it was 16-6 after the try from Honey and Cavana goal. And in the second half, Leeds immediately turned on the style. In 42 minutes, Ido had a try. 44 minutes, Laws had a try. 46 minutes, Ido had a try again. And Gallagher converting two, and it was 32-6. Then Gregory had a try, second of the afternoon. Gallagher converted 38-6. Leeds looked to be going up for a cricket score. But Barra came back with a try to Cavana, converted himself on 60 minutes, and it was 38-12. Then Innis, Hanley had two tries. Gallagher converted two of them, 42 points to 12, and then following the interception by Honey, Pat Trainer going over at the side of the post, Kavanagh converted, it was 52 points to 12, so we'll leave you from Headingley with the news that it's Leeds who progress into the second round of the Silt Cup Challenge Cup with a score Leeds 52, Barrow 18.